नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अनिश मंडल दिस इज माई फोर्थ इंस्टॉलमेंट हाउ टू बी अनोनिमस ऑनलाइन इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन बी अनोनिमस ऑन योर मोबाइल डिवाइस अनोनिमिटी टूल्स फॉर फोन्स एंड टैबलेट्स आर फार बिहाइंड कंपेयर टू डेस्कटॉप वाई इट इज नेसेसरी एज यू सी इन दिस ग्राफ you can see more and more people are now using the mobile device to surf on internet or use internet services we also need to protect our privacy on our mobile device so let's begin the tutorial in this demo i'm going to show you vpn configuration method pptp point to point tunnel protocol or l2pp configure pptp point to point tunneling protocol or l2pp layer 2 protocol it's easy on your mobile device same as you configure those on desktop all you just need to get the configuration setting for example same as my past example we can go vpn book free vpn you can use those server address and username password to configure pptp on your mobile device or on fruit vpn sign in after sign in on fruit vpn you can see the configuration guide available for your various device for example in android how you can configure a pptp on your android or on your l2pp on your android or iphone device iphone ipad device you can just follow these steps to configure it on your mobile and for this demo i am going to configure pptp on my android device so you can see all we just need to go to the setting of our android device mobile there is a more option we just need to select more option in vpn configuration whenever you trying to configure first time you need to add a pattern lock or a pin lock click add profile name whatever you want for this demo i am creating fruit vpn the name using pptp protocol we can use l2pt protocol also and then the server address it's fe hyphen vpn dot root vpn dot com click ok ok done when you click connect it will prompt you the username and password use the username and password which you have registered for my example this is the username and password just click connect done so after pptp, so after PPTP configuration you can use tools which are available to do the same settings for you without any manual configuration you can use tools such as hotspot shield or spot flux all you just need to go to that place dot google dot com and search for those tool hotspot shield you just need to install it you can see click it will create the server configuration for you same as spot flux apart from those two tools there are dozens of tool available as per your requirement or as per your comfort zone you can use any tool and for the tools demo i am going to show you how we can use open vpn connect tool to connect any vpn con client configuration so pro before proceeding that some things we require to install in our mobile first you need to download and install open vpn
ओपन वीपीएन कनेक्ट सॉफ्टवेयर ऑन योर मोबाइल डिवाइस एज वेल एज द वीपीएन कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फाइल फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ द वेबसाइट फॉर दिस एग्जांपल आई एम गोइंग टू यूज वीपीएन बुक I just downloaded the software certificate bundle and extracted in my memory card. Also, I just require to use this username and password for the same. In our mobile, we just need to start open VPN Connect card client, import the configuration file from our SD card, which we have downloaded from VPN book, or we can download from Fruit VPN. The configuration file. I'll just select 443 VPN Book US setting. Here we need to use the username and password to connect on VPN Book. VPN Book and the password, current password. If we are using Fruit VPN, we can save the password. Click on Connect. We need to trust the application. After initializing the connection, it's connected. Now we can browse the net as we normally do using Chrome browser or Firefox browser from our mobile. Let's see Google.com. It sometimes depend on the VPN configuration. Open see my IP dot com. Sometimes VPN book server responds very slowly. So let's wait and it will load the page. And show the IP let's see it's loading loading yeah done you can see the IP address host name and ISP with country So our VPN connect is working fine. Now all we just need to disconnect the VPN services whenever we don't want to use it. Click on and click disconnect. So apart from those tools, you can use Tor on your mobile device. For that, you require to download and install Orbot. It's a guardian project. All you just need to go to the Play Store and download Orbot bundle. Here, here you can install Orbot Proxy, a Tor project, and also we need to install Private Web Browser. The Orbot Proxy Tor is compatible with Firefox, but it's better to use with Or Web Private Browser. So just install those both on your mobile, and then. To use Orbot, you first need to uh, do the basic setting like selecting your language, accept the terms and condition, and if you have root access, it will ask you per to give permission for root access. Skip that if you don't want to, cause it's work with proxy. Here are some tools which can be used, and click finish. Here is the setting page. You can see the setting as per your requirement. You can customize it. And to use Orbot, we just need to go to setting page and configure it with our mobile device. For example, if we want to use Tor with our mobile network, we can need to change the access point setting. 
like in Vodafone Mumbai, we just need to add proxy address. It's a local host and uh, port port number eight one one eight to use Tor uh, as per our mobile service provider from our mobile service provider and from Wi-Fi. I'm going to show you how we can use using our Wi-Fi. Go to Wi-Fi. once it's connected click on configuration here you will see the proxy setting option by default it's none click on it change it to manual and add the host name will be local host and the port number will be 8118 save this setting now start or bot you need to press and hold or bot button to initialize it once your or bot is start it will connect to that relay server and create the circuit once it's connected successfully you can check the browser settings by default it it will use our web browser and the, the page will be initialized check dot project dot org uh, if you want you can browse any website on our web menu go and type web page name you want to browse and here you can see we have successfully connected with different IP. Now I find the trouble with my friends when whenever they are using our web, once they disconnect, still they are not able to browse or surf the website. Like here it's asking me to connect our web again but if I start Chrome and try to surf on internet after disconnecting our web it shows unable to connect because we have configured proxy server so whenever we don't want to use our web all we just need to go to that IP setting Wi-Fi setting and disable it okay go back home and click on it it will load the page so those are the simplest method you can use to be anonymous on your mobile device or protect your privacy but as I told that we can't be 100% anonymous online because whenever we use those tools some sites require to be signed in for example our email which each and every person use on day to day basis so my next tutorial, I'll cover how you can be anonymous, how you can protect your mails being tracked or how you can protect privacy over the internet for your email services. So stay tuned and thank you.